Hey, uh, good morning. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlog. So if you enjoy this video, I feel greasy. <laughs> oh, she's the fluorescent. <laughs> <laughs> good morning on Real Father's Day. Go show them what I got you because I told them I was doing something, but I didn't show them because I was worried. You were that I was gonna watch it. No, I wasn't worried. You, watch it. I knew I didn't watch you were gonna watch, but I was. You look at the comments. <laughs> True. Don't mind. That's just like comfy morning mess on the couch. Here's my cup of Joe with my my sweet pea cup. But look at look what Sarah made me. This Peter Brookhart lassos stork. And it's the George Lasso's The Moon from It's a Wonderful Life. So we're going to hang that up somewhere soon. And it'll just be like a living room decoration. But I absolutely adore it because you guys know how much that movie means to me. You know how much this message means to me. And it's just the best. And look. It cost me 40 cents. Uh, best 40 cents I think you've ever spent. And now Sarah's making us... PB and J's for breakfast. Oh wait, I only made myself one. <laughs> you only made yourself one? You told me that you didn't want one. Oh, okay, I'll just have the cereal. You took the cereal. Uh, is this, I'll have the cereal. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. This is yours. No, it's not. <laughs> We're gonna watch Dad's this new documentary on Apple Plus, Apple TV Plus, hour and 20 minutes, and it's got a bunch of famous people in it, and it looks really great. Oh yeah. Dad's is really good on Apple TV. Look at this hair. I need to get this taken care of. But Sarah's gonna edit. I'm gonna take a shower. Um, we're gonna get our get ready for our day to really get started after having this relaxed morning. She's an awfully sleepy pup. Back to his roots. <laughs> Back to my roots. You guys, Peter's signature smell used to be Subway. I don't know how I feel about <laughs> it being presented that way. My signature smell. Um, yeah, it's like, it reminds me of high school. Yeah, just some quick uh, quick five dollar foot long, some veggie subs. So I got a Dr. Pepper. We're gonna indulge in this before we... Another car. I can smash car a five dollar foot long in like three minutes flat. It's oh. a skill of mine now. <laughs> don't you like wish you could have been back there making it yourself? Because you had so many tricks. I'm Thank you. I'm a certified sandwich artist, graduate of the University of Subway. That was your first, like, true, true leadership role, but you did have one other job before one that. One other job, and I was there for like four months, and I quit <laughs> without two week notice. If you know Five of months. Pop's Italian beef, that was Peter's first job. Subway was his first, like, true career. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are just getting off I-4 now to go to the P.O. Box first. We are going to send off all of my vote writers letters um, and a couple of little packs for you guys who have either donated food or donated blood since the virus started. We've had a couple more people do it. So if you've recently um, let us know that, then you should be getting a package soon. We don't really know what we're gonna do after this, but we can't, we can't go really get a straight razor. Yeah, we kind of need to order it. I mean, Art of Shaving has one, but I don't think we want that one. Yeah, we want, like, Art of Shaving is legit. But we're looking for, I don't know, more of like a classic one. Um, and so yeah, we're still figuring out what else we're going to do today. This is where we ended up. We got prime parking because Since Father's Day they gave me prime parking. Nah. <laughs> because of annual pass holder perks. They're doing like stuff. special summer perks till July fifth. Which we were thinking about going to Market on South for dinner, but now we might have dinner here. Because another one of the perks is getting a free like Coke freestyle cup. Souvenir refillable Coke freestyle you cup. You know we plus. love a good refillable plus mug. Those are great for HHN. Yeah. Fingers crossed HHN happens, which I think it is. Um, but we just ate, and it's three, and the park closes at six, so. We'll see. We'll see. You must. Oh, a little treaty treat. We got donuts. I'm so excited. And 
I was just happened to look at virtual queue because I wasn't sure if we were going to go on the park or not. It's 3.30. There was a 4 to 4.30 Hagrid's. Ah! Peter so Sarah was like, you have, to go, you have to grab it. You have to <laughs> um, You guys may have not known this by now, but when it's something that I get to celebrate, even if it's little, I blow it up. I said let, we're getting donuts. Yeah, you were, but like, because you said usually Sarah's <laughs> like, we're just going to get one each, right? And I'm like, she orders, she's like, I'm going to get a Portland cream. And I was like, let me get two Portland creams, <laughs> a maple bar, two for my baby. Two for my baby. 14 <laughs> units, Airheart units. Yeah, I'm so excited. Well, anything with sugar with Sarah Brookhart makes any kind of sickness. Boats! <gasps> Boats, because the, the resorts are open now. <gasps> oh. You Thank you. Stop anything for a good boat ride. Oh, ho, ho. Those donuts were delicious. So good. And now, we haven't been to islands yet. I know! There's the music. And look, not too bad. I don't know if it's because it's Father's Day or because it's hot. There's only two hours left to park being True, but it, and we're only so far in, but City Walk didn't seem too busy. And the park doesn't seem busy, too busy, especially considering I just <laughs> snagged that egg. Yeah. So, the last time we were at Universal, the Christmas store wasn't open there, but it is open here. I just, friends, let's wage bets. Is James a Halloween baby or a Christmas baby? It's just by a couple of days. It's just by a couple of days because if he is born in November, Christmas baby. <laughs> he's born in October. And his due date is October 28th. He's an HHN baby and he's gonna come to HHN with me. November 2nd, whatever the last day of HHN as I'm bringing him with. Peace, baby. It'll be, it'll Peace, be super photo finish. And I really like this stuff. The Whoville. See ya! Have fun! I can hear it. It's a bit to- oh, I see it! It's a bit toasty, but it is beautiful out. It's really crazy to think how fast time flies. Like Sarah and I were talking, it's been six months since we were in this park, which means it's been even longer since last time I was on this attraction. Whoa, I forgot how awesome the queue is. Look at the pumpkins, makes me think of fall. Oh, I can go this way now. The queue is not fully being utilized right now, but they've got their markers all the way through. Ah, look at the beauty. I must say, it's just like mummy. This is a little creepy to be in some of these queues by myself, literally. Peter says, what is that? Scary. Whoa. So 15 minutes from getting in line, walking through the queue, going on the ride. I stopped for maybe one minute at the loading station after getting hand sanitizer, so I thought that was a really good experience. Oh um, my goodness! Did you know thing one and thing two came off? I don't know. Hello! Hello, good to see you guys! Good to see you too! There's Hulk! Ah! But I don't think I'm gonna go on it because I've actually only ever been on it once and I got a, a headache. Oh, it's got a 35 minute wait. So Universal's got a really cool virtual line system, but for any ride that has like a time. You can just wait in line. Yeah. But if it doesn't, then you need a virtual queue. Which is a lot more here that are normal queue than virtual. Yeah. I feel like Universal has a lot more. Virtual. Virtual. Yeah. We are home. We had kind of talked about like potentially going to Market on South. I think we we brought that up we were thinking of eating at Universal but we were just kind of just ready to go home it was super hot we just wanted to be with Eve so we stopped at Publix and got um, frozen pizza and Gardein buffalo wings and some beer for Peter a little sparkly drink for me so we're just gonna spend the rest of the night at home yeah yeah so Publix kind of failed us with our, our normal 
vegan pizzas. So we have this one. Looks awfully broccoli-ish if you ask me. Then we got the buffalo sauce for the tenders that are in the, well they're more like wings, in the oven too. This is a backup plan if I'm too ninny penny for all the veggies. I have to use this as a backup plan because we, remember these are good. They're small but good. And Peter got the ultimate BOGO, beer BOGO. Nine bucks for two six packs Kona. And I got this sparkling water, citrus green tea. And even I just went on a walk that was also known as, it was essentially a half mile run. <laughs> and Eve held her own. For lack of a better way of putting it, she's not that big of a runner. Other than she like likes, laps she's a sprinter. She's a sprinter, yeah. She's a cheetah. She's not a marathon. A marathoner. But she did good. But she was pumped, and then she was like, boy, it's hot out. Let's go back inside. How was it? Did you have fun? Huh? Did you? Something happened just now. Peter's been waiting for this moment for months. Since? Since coronavirus. Yeah. Because we were going to go see this movie called The Way Back with Mr. Ben Affleck. Um, I really wanted to see it in theater. Sarah was like iffy. I like, wanted to, but like it was just like never presented itself. Right, and it was never a product. There were other movies we wanted to see, and then we didn't see it, and then coronavirus happened. And it was, for a while, it was like 20 bucks yeah. to buy. And we just saw that it was 10 So we bought it. So we bought it, so we're going to watch it. it. Peter's been like obsessed. Whenever we see like I'm nervous previews, that, he's like, that's that's my movie, that's my movie. I'm nervous that I'm not gonna like it then. It's my sister. We have a FaceTime coming in. So we are gonna go watch the movie after the FaceTime. Love you, bye. All right, we finished the way back. It was really good. Good Ben Affleck, good performance of Ben Affleck and good story and evolution of characters and everything. Um, I'm getting my, my weekend work routine set up and Sarah's taking a quick bath before we um, watch another movie or hang out or something. But I just wanted to give a quick shout out or happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Um, this day, just like Mother's Day, is a celebration for many. It's hard for many. It's a celebration because of hardship for many. Um, it's a, a day to celebrate anybody in your life no matter how they identify themselves. If they were a father figure or a leadership figure in your eyes, it's a day to celebrate them. And for some, it's a day to mourn. It's a day that they know, for some, that they will celebrate someday. And for others, a day that they won't be able to, but they still respect and acknowledge because of their own relationships in their life. Just wanted to say Happy Father's Day to everybody. All of the fathers out there, the would-be fathers, the fathers of angels, the people who have angels as fathers. Um, just all around that I am either celebrating with you, or I'm thinking of you, or that I just see you. Because when I talk to other people who are going through challenges that Sarah and I have gone through, the one thing I just tell them is for anybody that they are communicating with is sometimes just to let you know that they are seen and that's it. There's no good words, there's no bad words, just I see you. And for some people I always caveat with food never hurts. So I always tell people just let somebody, their loved one know that they are seen, um, that they know you are there. And if you want to just send them some Uber Eats. Um, is actually what I told one of my coworkers a couple months ago about someone in their family. but. Happy Father's Day to all. Oh my goodness. We just had the cherry on top of our Father's Day by purchasing the crib for the little babe. So this is the crib that we got. We got it in the walnut dark wood color. Um, and it actually is like all fancy and certified and made from pine from New Zealand. It looks very nice and it converts to a toddler bed and then a day bed. So it is a day bed and a toddler bed. So we'll be able to use it for many years to come. And it's going to be so nice to finally get some furniture in that room. 
Also, we got this sweet gift today from our PO box from Molly. We have Phil on. Um, thank you so much. This is so sweet. The rainbows are perfect. We also are starting to carry our diaper bag around just to like get used to the feel of bringing it into the car. I mean, we've had a backpack before, um, but I don't know. It was just, it was just a good day of, I think that I still feel very surreal about our baby, um, but a lot happened today that made it feel more real. Well, that's a cute puppy. We've spent the last hour watching the Chicago episode of Somebody Feed Phil again. It is good to have an end to journey toward, but it is the journey that matters in the end. Ernest Hemingway. What a lovely quote on the 21st of June. Look at my nuts hair. Did you say what time it is? It's one in the morning. <sighs> it is one in the morning. <laughs> and I have to get up in like five and a half hours to finish my reports. I'm gonna get up and hopefully, this is the thing, we're only gonna go to the Disney parks during our trip if we feel safe. She's getting defensive. I'm not getting defensive. I'm just being honest, honest because yeah. we don't know how things will, things change all the time. Yeah. So, don't we're gonna worry. Try to book it. We're gonna book dates just in case we want to go to the parks while we're there. Worst case, I'm gonna sit and watch Stacy for five days straight and not leave my room. And we decided on all of our dining today too. So it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>